This is liquid. First, we're going to start by doing this movement. This movement is extremely important for when you connect your liquid and to add more of that flowier movement. Once we have this down, we can have our fingertips touch and practice this movement. You can go higher and have it be more dramatic and even lower. You can create a bigger wave by going higher or even lower. Now what we can do is we can combine this movement that we had here with that movement. So you have more dramatic effect with your liquid. Now what you can do with your liquid is that you can take one hand and practice that closing motion and kind of guide it anywhere you want really. And what you can do is you can follow your leading hand with your left hand. A good way of how to do this is to have your fingertips touching and have that curl like this. This curl when we turn our wrist. Have the tips touching at all times to help you understand the translation of movement every time you do that wave-like motion. It's important to move your elbows around too to add to the effect of your liquid. This is a concept that you can get really, really experimental with. So don't be afraid to utilize this Z axis here and utilize the X axis and the Y.